Welcome to GMT's unofficial channel. <laughs> That's right. It, it, it occurred to me that all the games I've showcased and most of the games I just kind of plug or mention in general have been GMT games. And well, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I am not endorsed by GMT. I am not compensated by GMT. Uh, the closest thing you could say is once I helped Mark Herman kind of compile a list of uh, errors for his rule book for Pericles, and he kindly sent me a meeple of a Spartan hoplite in a Speedo. Yes. I would have discovered the secret of the Spartan success. The enemy just said, we'll do whatever you say, just put on some damn pants. Anyway, I sh for the record, I should mention, here, focus. Uh, I do own games from publishers other than GMT. Even war games from publishers other than GMT. Uh, when it comes to, when you go outside of war games, then I got, then there's a whole gamut of stuff. But I think the reason all that happened is I just happened to be in a good spot, when, uh, a cycle when P500 games were coming out brand new. And so it just kind of snowballed from there. And um, as far as wargaming goes, I'm kind of, I'm not casual. I'm not like super serious, you know, case blue needing six tables or anything. I'm somewhere in between. GMT, as far as I'm concerned, is knocking it out of the park and scratches my wargaming itch. So we'll keep doing it. So in that same spirit, we're going to signal boost another game. This is going to be one from Mark Herman, Upcoming. And it's going to be called Burma, The Forgotten War, 1943-44. This is going to be a game uh, that is standalone. Uh, based on Empire of the Sun, which is the board I've got right here, focused in on the on the area here, the CBI, which uh, I have to remind myself is China, Burma, India. When you hear CBI, that's that's what I need to think. And um, it's not actually GMT; it's uh, the the kind of organ for them, um, the magazine uh, C3I, which I keep calling 3CI for some reason, like I'm Billy D. Williams or something. And uh, the Wookiee and, uh, and uh, C... 3CPO. 3CPO. Um, but it's their magazine, and it's going to be kind of their, their games in a magazine thing, which I have not done before. I don't have any experience of it. Uh, so this would be my first one. I saw Mark Herman and says, oh, I, I got to get that. And um, actually, this game... The main box, I think it has something that was originally in uh, uh, C3I, the South Pacific, and they included it in the third, four, I can't remember what edition we're on, on Empire of the Sun. What does it say here? Uh, da, da, da. Second edition, second printing. Okay, okay, okay. So that's uh, what that's going to be, and um, by by the magazine. And the magazine, to the, I mean, they're, they're, they're not trying to fool you or anything like that. Um, they say right on the, on the front there, we, we support GMT game. We, we, we plug them. And so it's like kind of like a Nintendo Power or something like that. And as far as I'm concerned, full disclosure, you know, you're allowed, you have full license to do whatever you want when you tell me. Uh, so I won't worry unless, say, the Dorito Pope shows up or something like that. Um, but getting back to the game, uh, if you're like me, uh, you know a lot about, you might know a, a pretty good a bit about World War II, but very little about this. And in fact, I would go so far to say is that my knowledge of the CBI uh, uh, theater is pretty much limited to Bridge Over the River Kwai. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me do it. My officers will not do manual labor. That's my, um, Alec Guinness impression. What do you think? Uh, speaking of which, sorry to go on a tangent here. Uh, if you get a chance, find his autobiographies. They're a hoot. Uh, but be warned, he's going to say some quite unkind things about Star Wars. And you got to bear in mind, this is before Darth Maul's got a hold of the franchise. Um, but anyway, that's not your here or there. One of the interesting things I noticed on the Board Game Geek entry for this game is that i don't know why i'm pointing at this this is empire of the sun um sorry but uh it, it says one to two players so that makes me wonder if they are uh they're gonna put in the bots and the bots you know from uh empire of the sun where there's some pretty elaborate uh flow charts like this uh i spe i don't think it'll be as as complicated 
probably obviously, because uh, Empire of the Sun is a pretty thick rule set. And it's one where I, and that's why I haven't brought it out recently. It's just, it's a pretty big commitment and I uh, do find myself diving into the rule book quite frequently. Um, but I do, I really do enjoy it. And, and, and it makes me wonder, Mark Herman has been go, going for what I would say, uh, simpler, simpler designs, which is fantastic by the way. And some of them he's come up with are absolutely brilliant. Uh, but it does, sometimes I do wonder, is he ever, is he going to make a, just a really crunchy, heavy rule set game like like this one again if he's got another one in him or anything like that um we'll, we'll have to wait and see but uh i'm looking forward to uh this one i want to see if it's going to be have a solo bot in the meantime i uh, asked on the forums if he could rec on bgg if he could recommend some background reading so i'm not uh, totally out of the out of my depth here and he said this one which just happened to be at my library frank mclynn the burma campaign and now that i it looks like the the mag the C3i magazine is still a little bit a ways off. They're having a little trouble there, uh, as is everyone trying to get stuff out. Um, but I'll, I'll read on this, and I'll probably, when I get my hands on it, I will showcase it here. Sure. And really, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to have some more Atlantic Chase, more GMT for you. Uh, we'll continue our operation, what is it? Ryan, Operation Ryan, we got the Bismarck going here. I'll, I'll get another one of those episodes up here. I actually, I got it all recorded, so I just need to publish it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm glad to do a little plug for this game, and thanks for watching.